These photos of the Don issue number two leaked, okay? So here's your look at them. We're gonna scroll through this page real quick so you guys get a good look. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I'm excited for this shoe. All right, so here you go. This is leaked photos. Now these photos leaked a while back. I'm just now getting around to uh, talking about it with you guys. Usually I would make a video about this, but instead of me making the video, recording it, then uploading it, I decided to create this live stream so we could talk about this together and we could get live reactions together about the shoe. So here they are. Now, the Don issue number two, I'm excited about it because this shoe right here, the Don issue number one, I love this shoe. This was one of my favorite shoes from last season. Uh, and I, I mainly enjoyed it because it was such an affordable option. I think they retailed for $95 and Adidas killed it with the way they looked. I think that this shoe looks beautiful, but also the colorways that they dropped were awesome. They made me want to buy more colorways. This Venom colorway is my favorite. That's why I picked it up, but they had a couple different Spider-Man colorways. They had the mailman colorway. I thought Adidas really nailed it with, you know, kind of generating hype with the visuals as well as the colorways. But on top of that, as you guys know from my review, I really enjoyed playing in Donovan Mitchell's first signature sneaker. It had full length bounce, which was awesome. I actually like bounce more than boost. I know that's crazy, but to me, boost, sometimes you'll get a boosty setup that feels really explosive and other times you won't. And it's not that boost is inconsistent. It's just the way Adidas implements Boost is different depending on the shoe. It's a versatile cushioning setup, but with Bounce, it's pretty much the same experience everywhere I go. Whether it's in the Dames, whether it's in the Don Issues, Bounce is Bounce, and it pretty much is the same every time. Shout out to Gene Chang for subscribing. You like Dwayne Wade hyping up his mans there with the sneakers, but... I just love bounce. I think it's the most versatile cushioning setup out there. If you're a big, if you're a guard, whatever you are, you're going to you're going to love bounce. It may not do one thing perfect. It may not have the best core feel. It may not have the best explosiveness. It may not have the best energy return or plush feel, but it does everything extremely well. So that's why I think it's the most versatile. Now, the down issue number 1 wasn't without its flaws. It was a huge sneaker. You guys know me. Um, when I put on my review of this, I just said the fit in this is absolutely horrendous. Shout out to Fat M for subscribing, my man. Thank you for joining the stream. The fit in the Don issue number one was a problem. I went down half a size, but I would not be surprised if some people went a full size down in these. And another thing that was somewhat of an issue was the traction. It had a really tight pattern and on some floors that could be problematic. So if anything Adidas needed to fix from the Don issue number ones to the sequel is fit as well as traction. I thought everything else was solid. So let's put these down and let's take a look here at the Don issue number twos. Now let me know what you guys think about these in the chat. I would love to hear what you guys think about these. My initial first impressions on these, shout out to Sean for subscribing, man, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining the stream. But uh, my initial thoughts on these was, the first thing I thought of actually was, look at this, was Rugrats. Look at this logo. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw the Don issue number twos. You see these triangles here? Boom, right there. Triangles right there. That is the first thing that I thought of. It could also be uh, Bart Simpson's hair. That's what that looks like as well. But overall, I think the Don issue number two has decent visuals. I think, I think it has decent visuals. But this colorway might not be doing it justice. I'm not a fan of this lighter green with a different shade of green midsole with a different shade of green outsole with these oranges. It reminds me of like a cartoon show like the Rugrats or, or, or what have you. But um, it kind of looks like one of those BYW, those Boost You Wear sneakers. Let me see if I could bring that up. Because Adidas has been, it, it kind of reminds me of these guys, but uh, the newer version, the newer version. Maybe if we go to Adidas website. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking of. 
I type in BYW. It reminds me. Maybe they're not called the B. Oh yeah, kind of like these. These are the sequels, the BYW twos. You see how there's a heel, a forefoot, and a midsole? Right here. You kind of get that same vibe. The forefoot and the midsole is connected. The heel looks a little less connected, but this centerpiece here in the midsole reminds me a lot of those boots you wear sneakers. Um now let's take a look at a different angle of the shoe. Here's the medial side. Now, as you can see, it has bounce foam. So bounce foam is making a return. That's good news. Like I just said, bounce is killer. The medial side has this probably synthetic nubuck panel here. So that looks pretty nice. You're getting some layers. It gives the shoe some depth. I like the three stripes implementation. I like that. It's aggressive. It's on the heel. It's on the medial side. I like that. Um, but other than that, not much going on here on the medial side. Here's another colorway. Now, this is part of a Crayola pack, I believe. And you can take a look at this last photo, Crayola, which I guess is a cool idea. Now, Adidas kind of painted themselves in a box here with the Don issue number ones by calling it the Don issue number ones, right? Because it was inspired by Donovan Mitchell's love for comic books, specifically Spider-Man. So I don't know if they lost the license to Marvel. We all know Adidas had that Marvel pack or um, they don't want to pay for the license anymore. I don't know. But these initial colorways don't really look comic book inspired. Like, I don't think this green colorway is related to Spider-Man in any way or any superhero. I, I, I really don't. Unless I'm I'm missing something here. But it looks like there's a Crayola pack. And this green one looks like it's a part of the Crayola pack from this photo. So I don't know if they're switching it up with the collaboration. And they're going with Crayola. Because they got to pay Crayola for this right here. To put that there. That's the logo. You can see the copyright logo right there. But the Crayola pack is not as dope as, as the Spider-Man pack. For sure. Let me let me see uh, what you guys think. Um, is it more like a pal from a comic book? Uh, uh, who said that? Nils. Nils. That that's funny you ask. Now look at this. 2K actually had some photos of the Don issues. I guess the Don issue number twos are already in 2K. I believe. Check out this photo. So this is very much inspired by comic books and Spider-Man, right? The outsole, it had it leans more into the web-like pattern. Now this, I know this is a photo from a video game, guys, but if you guys could see this, let me put up the full shot here. The Don issue number ones also had a web-inspired outsole pattern, but it was very tight. It was full length. It used two different rubber compounds, but it was very tight. If you take a look at the Don issue number twos via 2K, I'll zoom in here. It looks a lot more spaced out. So I think that's an awesome step in the right direction for Adidas, right? More spaced out on the outsole for the pattern. Dust isn't going to get easily caught in between the grooves like it was on the first Don issues. So I think the outsole is killer. I, I'm really digging this outsole, guys. It's got the boom, the pow, and that classic comic book font. I really, really like that. And like I said, I think those three stripes are just killer. Um, Ugly God Jr. in the chat says, they're tough. They're tough. You like these, Ugly God. Oh, Gemini saying Hobgoblin. Are these Hobgoblins? I don't think so. Is it Hobgoblin... Um, Uh, green and purple? Oh, you know what? I might have been thinking about something else. No, not quite. That's not quite what we're seeing here. Close, but no cigar. I don't think so. Now, let's go back here. Another thing that this shoe reminds me of is the Pro Visions. You guys remember that? I keep clicking that shopping page they kind of remind me of this shoe right here the pro visions i kind of get the same vibe and donovan actually wore these before he got his first signature sneaker i believe so that's what these kind of remind me of right here 
Don issue number twos. Pro vision. I don't know. Let's see what you guys have to say in the chat. John Tom says, I think the colors are too plain and don't have much detail. I like the Spider-Man colorway better. Yeah, I'm right with you, John. Uh, I agree. I don't really like this uh, Crayola pack, whatever this is. Where's that photo? Right here. I mean, there's variety. If you don't like yellow, you can get blue. If you don't like blue, you can get orange. If you don't like those, you can get green. I get it, but... Um, you're right, man. I think the Spider-Man is the way to go here. Now, according to SneakerBarDetroit.com, these are going to be dropping on August 2020 for $100. So a $5 increase. However, that isn't too bad. I think the price is right online. There doesn't seem to be any reason for a $5 increase other than the popularity of the first Don issues. And they're just gradually raising the price. I'm just happy they didn't jump it up to all the way to 110 or 120. We all know Donovan is, you know, he's a fantastic player. Is he an all-star? Did he make the all-star team? I think he did. So look, you're getting a signature sneaker for a hundred dollars. You really can't beat that. And that is why I had the first Don issues on my top five sneakers of the year list as an honorable mention because you really can't beat that price with the performance that these have to offer so everything that i'm seeing here from the don issue number two looks good it still looks like it might have some fit issues it looks like a big shoe but you never know a another thing that's concerning me is if you take a look here look at the laces guys so the laces are attached to this string here, which this string looks like it's pinned down by this fused triangle overlay. You see that right here? And these laces aren't, they don't look like they're going through an, a hole, like a traditional eyelet. And this actually slightly concerns me about the fit with these because like I said, it looks like a big shoe already like the predecessor. But if these laces are only attached to this string, that doesn't look like if you lace them up tight that it's really going to conform around your foot because this string here is only pinned down. It doesn't go down to the midsole. It doesn't look like it's integrated with the rest of the shoe in any way. It just looks like it's a string that was fused down and those laces are holding on to it. So that does concern me about the fit. And also the heel... Uh, looks like there's adequate padding, which was great on the first Don issues, but with the hor with the fit that was way too big, the padding wasn't enough the way it was constructed to prevent heel slippage. I was getting a little bit of heel slippage in the first Don issues, so hopefully they change that here. It's hard to tell just based on these photos, uh, but it does look like the excess padding is making a return here. Um, the heel cup. Is also interesting look. I can't say I'm a fan of it visually. I don't know what's going on here with this eyelet. It just kind of looks, I don't know. It kind of looks like a baby stroller. Like, you know, the baby stroller when you put the sunshade over? That's what this is reminding me of right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this. It reminds me of this. This part right here. That's what that reminds me of. Like you're pulling it over on the on the baby. Uh, but let's take a look in the chat. Yidon Yang says cheap materials can perform good if they are used right. Yeah, the materials, they just look like mesh. They just look like mesh. Um, the previous Don issues, they use a variety of materials. That's what Adidas does, right? They drop a multiple colorways and... They have different materials on each colorway. So I, I suspect with the time issue number twos, nothing's going to change here. So um, there you guys have it. There's the Don issue number twos. Uh, is this a cop or is this a drop? Let me know in the chat right now. For me, guys, the Don issue number twos, it's a cop. I got to cop them and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's a cop because... I love the first Don issue so much. I just got to see what the twos are all about. I got to because 
the the first ones performed so well they dropped great colorways and again guys this is just the first initial colorways we may be getting a spider-man colorway down the road a venom colorway in fact i think that actually leaked as well but it wasn't a great leak yeah i can't oh here right here very small photo look at that look at that colorway now that looks that looks dope that looks dope guys i'm getting all giddy looking at these look at that gradient fade right there on that middle part of the midsole i still am not digging those triangles maybe that could have been white to bring some poppiness to it but if you look at the forefoot look at the forefoot guys it looks like venom's eyes are gonna be looking at you on the forefoot do you do you see that that looks dope and look at the panel the heel panel is pink and you got the venom teeth there just like the originals right here which again this is my favorite colorway of the don issue number ones so those other colorways were trash but these guys come on that's a cop you gotta cop that that is an instant cop you guys are loving it in the chat Oh, Josiah does not like the Venom colorway. Josiah, you like the, uh, did you like the first Venom colorway on the Don Issue number ones? Or are you just not a fan of how it's, uh, used here on the twos? Um, we're getting a lot of cops in the chat. Nico's copping, Franklin's copping, JCBS is definitely copping. Gene Chang says, it's a cop. Will the Beast got nothing but love and respect for donovan go jazz we got a jazz fan in the building johnny phantom says the don issue number one venoms were better i agree i agree johnny however if i had to pick a colorway this is the one that i'm picking to cop shout out to Lil sauce walt for subscribing my man thanks for joining the stream but there you guys have it those are the don issue number twos pretty much all i have to say about it not not much uh, I don't think I missed anything out on it. So again, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to cop this or not. Let's move on to the next subject. The D Rose 11s. Now these are interesting. Adidas, for some reason, Adidas sneakers leak way easier than Nike sneakers. That's just the way it goes out here. Uh... Well, these are the D Rose 11s. Now, I haven't played in a Rose sneaker in a while, guys. I think my last Rose sneaker was the 8s because the Rose 9s. I can't type today. The Rose 9s, yeah, I wasn't a fan of these. I just wasn't. It just, they got rid of Boost and it looked clunky. I heard they were good, I heard they were decent. But I just wasn't a fan. Did I have the eights? No, I didn't have the eights either. Also not a fan of these. Not a fan of those. I think my last one was the sevens. And I love those. The sevens were fire. Yeah, th this was the last rose that I copped. Those were awesome. I played in those so much, guys. That is an excellent sneaker. Some guys still play in this, I see. They love it so much in the league that they, they keep wearing these to this day. But these are the Rose 11s. And I have to say, I like the way they look better than the Rose 9s. I don't even know what the Rose 10 looked like. I'm really behind on the Rose line. Oh, that's right. The Rose 10 was kind of a throwback. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, yeah, I like... See, that looked like a throwback. That almost looks like a Rose 773 shoe. Remember that budget line from Adidas uh, and Derrick Rose where it was like a stripped down model of his signature line? That's what the Rose 10 looks like. Although it looks like a very good budget sneaker. The Rose 11s, I actually like the way these look. I actually do. And you guys are really liking them in the, in the chat. Ben says they look clean. Franklin says they're straight fire. Um, here's the thing, guys. Don't they look like the next levels? Like, don't they look like these? 
Boom. Here's the next levels. Wait, hold on. Here's the next levels. Oh my God. <laughs> here's the next levels. And here's the Rose 11s. They look very similar. Like the midsole is obviously the same because they're using light strike foam, right? The midsole has those indentations on there. Same thing going on here. But this, this piece right here that goes from the midsole all the way up onto the lower part of the upper and on the heel, this reminds me of a retro, an older Rose sneaker where they had the sprint frame. That reminds me a lot of sprint frame, uh, but it says light strike here. And it has Adi Zero technology, just like the old roses. So it looks like Adidas kind of going back and taking some design philosophies from the previous roses and implementing them in the new ones. And by the way, Rose isn't that popular here in the States anymore as far as sneakers go. But apparently overseas, he's still popular in China. So if you're wondering why Adidas is still bringing out Rose signature sneakers, I think they do very well over in China. But... That TPU piece reminds me of this right here. And just the overall shape of the shoe, you know, these next levels are really, they have a high collar. They have this really sharp angle going down to the toe box. And that's kind of what is reminding me here about them with the Rose 11s. But I do like this gradient midsole. The materials look nice. Now it's hard to tell in this photo. Are there any other photos? Yeah, here, check it out. These are the Rose 11s, super high heel. Now, the material, that could be like a woven or a knit. I doubt it though. I doubt that because they're using Adi Zero technology, but who knows? It might be like a knit underlay and then this is the overlay, the Adi Zero technology. Um. I'm not really too sure about these guys. I, I'm not into the Rose line anymore. It's just, it's time has passed. They're not really doing anything new. Uh, shout out to Marvin for subscribing. Thanks for joining the Jerron Mob, my man. Yeah, I'm not really feeling these roses. So I'm going to have to drop these. This is a drop for me. Not because I think they look bad. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... I haven't been excited about a Rose sneaker in a very long time, and this isn't getting me any more excited, but I'm not hating on it. Let me know what you guys think about the Rose 11s in the comment section below or in the chat. Yeah. Yidon says, Adidas does not sell D-Rose shoes in parts of New York like almost all. Really, Yidon? They don't sell roses in New York. Yeah, I don't see a lot of roses on shelves out here in the Bay either. Um, so I guess that's why I haven't been able to see them in hand. I'm just really not excited. Uh, we're getting, it's, it looks split in the chat. Mr. Y Lolly says he's copping for sure. John says he's going to cop. Gene says drop. Logan says drop. Uh, <laughs> JSL says I'll borrow them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Elliot Adidas has fumbled the ball out of bounds on fourth down. By far, they have the worst designs, them and New Balance. You don't like the Omnises, Elliot, from New Balance? I actually like those. I really like the way those look. Gene says, Rose doesn't sell a lot here in the Philippines either. Here in the Philippines either. Shout out to Samuel Domingo for subscribing. Thanks for joining the Jerron Mob. Welcome to the Sneaker Show. Maybe I got wrong intel. From what I've read and from what I've heard, I've, I've been told, you know... That Rose sells well in Asia, but oh, Jeru says D Rose line is popular here in the Philippines. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to figure that one out. But I'm not, I'm not really feeling the Rose 11s. But it is early. Maybe a different colorway will change my mind. But from what I'm seeing now, um, you might as well go with the next level. It looks like a beefier next level. So if the next levels weren't as supportive as you would have liked, maybe you should check out. The Rose 11s. Shout out to Joshua for subscribing. But I love that Rose logo. Still love that Rose logo. All right, let's move on to the next topic. Oh, this was an interesting topic. So the last dance, which we did a ton of live streams for, uh, and if you guys watched that, thank you very much. 
But in the last dance, they kind of give a little sneaker history on Michael Jordan. And Jordan said, I wanted to go to Adidas. I was an Adidas guy. I wore Adidas in college. I wanted to be with Adidas. His mom and dad said, you have to take the meeting with Nike. That's just good business. So Jordan goes to Nike and they make him an offer. He literally can't refuse. Shout out to Dwight for subscribing. Welcome to the sneaker show. And he joins Nike and the rest is history. We all know the story. However, what if in a parallel universe, Jordan did go with Adidas? Well, an article popped up online. An artist reimagined the Jordan line with Adidas. And I thought you guys would find this interesting. And since we just talked about two upcoming signature Adidas sneakers, uh, I thought I'd take a look here at Adidas Jordan. Now, the first thing the designer did is he took he got rid of the Jumpman logo. He just thinks Adidas would have gotten something different. And they're going with this uh, kind of, you know, reverse dunk in the dunk contest logo. Shout out to Hunter for subscribing. Thank you, my man. But here's the Jordan 1s. Now, this works. This looks like a real shoe. I'm really impressed with this rendering or whatever he did here this photoshop trickery but it this looks like a classic late 80s adidas sneaker uh it's got the three stripes with the you know it looks like the cutout stripes they're not clean they're they're not straight lines you know what i mean they're they're kind of they have those perforations or whatever you call those adidas on the back and you have the classic adidas logo on the tongue that looks like an Adidas shoe right out the right out the gate. Here's the Jordan twos. Now this, from the two, from the ones to the twos, I feel like the ones don't look as futuristic as the twos. This looks like a very futuristic shoe, and I'm not sure how I feel about this uh, rendering. He's got the Adidas on the midsole, which is really weird. I don't get that. Then he has the three stripes here for the iguana overlay. But I feel like what makes the Jordan 2 so iconic is obviously it was the first Nike sneaker without a swoosh. Um, so to put the stripes on the twos, it's just weird. Like he should have just kept it different. He should have put the tree logo on the tongue, if anything. But I like the effort. I like it. Adidas said that he was too short. They had Kareem as a cover athlete. I haven't read that, but I guess it makes sense. Logan P says, if he went with Adidas, they would still be the most iconic shoe. That's a good what if, Logan. You know, people love to play what if with Jordan's career. What if he went to Adidas? What if he didn't have Phil Jackson? You know, what if he went to the Rockets, the Blazers? Listen, Jordan was so good that Wherever he went, whoever he signed with, he was probably going to still be Michael Jordan. I mean, that's just who he is. Um, people want to try to connect dots and say he got lucky. But I think Jordan was going to be who Jordan was going to be regardless of the situation. He was that much of a force of nature. Here's the Jordan 3 from Adidas. See, he put the logo there on the tongue, but he didn't do it on the twos. Uh, he put the three stripes there. Kind of looks weird. Kind of looks funky. He kept the elephant print. Those look weird. Here are the Jordan 4s. Now, I feel like this is the missed opportunity. So, he put the Adidas Jumpman logo here, right? But he just added three stripes over the mesh and underneath the wing. Why didn't he just make the wing three stripes? Right? That, that would make the most sense. If he made this wing area, let me zoom in for you guys. If this wing was three stripes, like just add a stripe there and it would have been three stripes. But I agree, Josiah. The fours are not it. That just looks funky. But they, he, you can't really see. He had the Adidas logo right here on the heel as well. I, I also, <laughs> JSL says it looks like it's from Walmart. I agree, man. Here are the fives. Now the fives, not too bad. Better than the fours. He uh, basically just put a new buck overlay and had the mesh coming through these three rounded, you know, holes. 
I think they look okay. Maybe he could have kept this plane. He didn't have to change anything. He also put the, the logo, the modified logo on the tongue, which is fine, even though I don't like the logo. But maybe just change this into, instead of shark teeth, change it into like a stripe design. Maybe that's what he could have done instead of these three stripes. But otherwise, the fives are just whatever. Here are the sixes. Basic, basic Photoshop here. He just added three crimson stripes here. Shout out to Justin for subscribing. Thank you, my man. Welcome to the sneaker show. He got rid of the air. Look at that, because obviously Adidas doesn't have air. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like. I don't really like the sixes. I think the fives and the ones are the best ones so far. These, and these, and. I don't love the ones. It just looks like a real sneaker. That's why I think those are the best. John likes the sixes. You like those, bro? I don't know. I don't know. Here are the sevens. These are... Whoa. He really went to work on Photoshop with these. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, it's just this overlay. I don't know. The sevens are a weird sneaker. I don't know what he could have done here. I don't really have any, you know, revisions in mind. But I like that he went all out. He probably worked very hard on this rendering. But I just, I don't like them. And a lot of people don't like the sevens anyways, according to the comment sections of my latest videos. So, um, yeah, I'm not feeling the sevens. So let's go on to the eights. Now, the eights, very subtle changes. I love the logo on the tongue. He really did a good job on Photoshop there. But he changed the overlay a little bit, the, the two-strap design. These, other than that, look identical to the originals. So by by just that alone, I have to say that I think it's, it's one of the better out of these renderings. But no one really likes the eight. I think they're one of the worst Jordans. I think they are the worst Jordan. Out of all the first 14s. I'd rather wear all the other 13 sneakers than the 8s. For real. The 8s would be the last sneaker I added to my collection after I bought all the other Jordans. Which, I think at one point in time, I did have all the Jordans. I think. But then I got rid of them. I gave them away. Stuff like that. Let's move on. Here are the nines. Sm small change. This actually works here. He just added three stripes here with some perforations. This shoe would be a hot box. This shoe would be so hot because the originals, the entire upper here, this white part, had perforations. He got rid of them and just added three stripes here with some ventilation. This shoe would be hot. He also added the logo here on the, on the midsole. And he also added an extra little rib or whatever you call these cage whatever on the forefoot it's basic clean rendering but we all know the nines aren't very loved here are the tens now these so when the tens came out adidas was doing the adidas equipment thing the feet you wear thing so he leaned into that here and i don't mind the adidas equipment logo here i do mind this adidas logo on the medial side i don't like that get rid of that uh, but I like how he added these three stripes here. That seems decent, but I don't know why this one goes over the leather panel. Just tuck that underneath, and you got the three stripes, and I think that looks clean. Maybe he could have got rid of these other stripes, and it just had three stripes. That would have looked clean as well, but the tens, not horrible. Franklin, Franklin likes these. j -Cell says, very accurate if they were with Jordan. Yeah, I thought this article was interesting. This artist did a killer job. Now, here are the 11s. He didn't want to change much with the 11s because we all know the 11s are classic. Uh, but he did add some stripes here on the middle, like, eyelet things, which is fine. Also, the logo, obviously. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Here are the 13s. Now, this is weird. He added boost in the 13s. Obviously, they didn't have boost when the 13s came out, so I don't know why he did that, but these are funky. This is a drop. Uh-uh. Do not cop these. This is a drop. Weird-looking shoe. The outsole, it just doesn't look stable. These weird stripes, they're in a weird place. 
It's just, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of these. I don't know what he could have done with the 13s. Uh, but I don't like what he's done. <laughs> and you guys are loving it in the chat. Yeah. Wait, what it do says these are sick? I, I hope you're thinking about the 11s, man. Hater says the only weird thing is the stripes. I don't know. It just reminds me of like a woman's sh sneaker shoe. You know, like how they kind of add a, a wedge or a heel to the sneaker and they make it for women. And it's like sitting high off the ground. That's what this reminds me of. I don't, I don't, I like the attempt to add boost to a Jordan, but I just don't think it works here. I don't. Oh yeah. Where are the 12s? He didn't add the 12s. I don't know. Here are the 14s. Not that much different. Added another thing here like he did with the nines. Subtle three-stripe design on the upper. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty much identical. So, yeah. here The next shoe is actually my favorite. Look at this. This is a Kobe-esque Jordan. These are clean. This actually looks like a shoe. I'm not saying I like the way it looks. I'm just saying it looks like a shoe, like a real-life shoe. Like, this looks like something that came out. Maybe get rid of the Jordan logo. It just kind of looks cheaply photoshopped on there. Just get rid of that. But I just think this... This looks like something a company would put out. It looks like a finished product. I wouldn't cop it. In fact, I would drop it. It's a drop, but it looks real. So I'm impressed with this Photoshop work, I should say. Uh, Logan thinks these are a better Kobe one. Nah, man, the Kobe ones are better. Actually, you might be right, Logan. You might have talked me into that. You might have talked me into that because this looks like a samurai shoe. You know what I mean? Like a Japanese samurai ninja shoe. I know those two things are enemies, but it just, yeah, I don't know. I, there's just something about it. I would cop. I probably would cop these because they look so different. Most people are saying drop. Yeah, I get it, but I would probably, you know what? I changed my mind. It's a cop. I'm copping these. It's different. It's unique. It looks like a samurai shoe. I love samurais, so I'm going to cop these. That's a cop for me. But uh, this was a fun article. Shout out to the designer. What's his name? Let's get his name up here. Eric Paulin. He's got double L's there. Eric Paulin, shout out to you, man. This was a really fun project that you did here. But let's move on to the next topic which is a uh, Jordans these are the Air Jordan 14 Toro or Jim Red now these leaked online let me know if these are a cop or a drop in the chat guys let's take a look at these now we all know there's nothing like OG Jordans right but you can't expect Jordan brand to just not make new colorways because back in the day they didn't drop a ton of colorways like they do now these days a ton of colorways the sneaker drops and there's 25 30 40 50 i don't know how many colorways there's a bunch there's too much to choose from right so i want jordan to make new colorways but sometimes they miss the boat with these i think they're fine i think this is a decent colorway I think it's okay. I'm not mad about these. It's red, black, white. You guys know me. Those are my three favorite colors. It looks like something Jordan would wear if he was playing now. Um, I just like the Ferraris better. Or the last shots. I just do. More black. I like these. I actually want to pick these up. I underestimated these when they when they retro last time. I want to pick these up. I like these. I like the red, that shiny red with the yellow. I like these. These are okay. This looks more like a team shoe than these. These just look way cooler. And plus the, the leather, I mean, you can't go wrong. The tumble leather, this just looks like synthetic Nubuck or suede. It probably won't be great quality, which 
The 14s need all the help they can get. They need to have better quality. Let me brighten this up for you guys. Let me see what you guys are thinking in the chat. Oh, most of you guys are dropping. Henry dropped, Jack dropped, Josiah says they're all right. Hey, can we get a shout out to Josiah Hawkins for being the moderator? It's a, it's a responsibility not many people can have. Just shout him out. He's he's making the stream great. Hey, shout out to Sporting Express for subscribing. Thanks for joining the stream. Really appreciate it. Let me know in the chat one more time if this is a cop or a drop. I think what's throwing me off about these is the the logo. They should have kept it yellow like the like the last shot. This should have been here, okay? Just because I I feel like it would add some some depth. Now. Back in the day, Jordan Brand didn't drop mainly red Jordans, right? It was black and red or white and black. Uh, they didn't drop like a mainly red colorway. So when the retro scene started to explode, they started dropping more all red sneakers like the Raging Bull 5s, which are one of my grails. I would love to own a pair of these. They dropped these, the Raging Bull 5s, which are fantastic. Where's this taking me to goat? How much? Seven twenty-five? No, thank you. That's too much. Uh, and then they also copped, and I had two pairs of these, the Toro Fours. I had two pairs, and I did not like them. I got rid of both the pairs because the quality wasn't great. The red was more like an orangish red. It kind of reminded me of Mushu from Mulan. So I doubled up on these. And I sold one when I got them in the mail. When I got both in the mail, I was like, I, I, don't li I don't like these. So I sold one away. And then I rocked the other one for a while. And then I got rid of those because I just wasn't a fan of these. Uh, Eric says, red suede is hard to clean. Yeah, that too. So that's what these remind me of. It looks like a little bit of a deeper red, more of a true red. It's gym red, while these are Toro red. So that's a good change, but that's what these remind me of. So I'm going to have to make these a drop. These are a drop. I will not be copping. Maybe if they're on sale for 80 bucks, I'll cop these. Other than that, it's a drop, and I think you guys are with me. Mr. Lolly says, big drop, and I agree with you. Okay, let's move on to the next sneaker. It's another Jordan. Jordan 5. Bel Air Alternate. Have you guys seen these? Take a look. Let me know if these are a cop or a drop. Let's scroll through. Jordan 5s. These are one of the three, my three favorite Jordans. I don't like ranking my three favorite Jordans, but it's the ones, the fives, and the fours. Those are my three favorite Jordans. The 12s just missed the cut. But I'd rather have a pair of ones, a pair of fours, and a pair of fives. But let me know if these are a cop or a job. Now, this isn't the first Bel Air 5 that came out. If you guys remember, I don't think they were called Bel Airs. I think they were called Fresh Prints. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, these ones right here. Oh, they were called Bel Airs. These were okay. I didn't pick up a pair just because they were really expensive and I wasn't totally in love with them, but I appreciated their design. The gray was a unique look. It was totally something Will would wear in the show. So I it, it was good just because of that. It felt like a Fresh Prince sneaker. It nailed the theme. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's a great sneaker. I mean, what could you rock with this even? You know what I mean? The new ones, the alternates, I actually think I like these better than the originals. What do you guys think? Do you like the OG Bel Airs or the alternate Bel Airs more? Let me know in the chat. David says, huge cop. Yeah, David, I, I think these are better. Broke Boy says, this colorway is for kids. Is this a kid's colorway? Let's see. Mm. It says it's expected to drop August 29th for a retail price of $200. Yeah, I think these are going to drop in uh, 
as a general release in adult colorways. Uh, John Tom says 100% better. 100%. Although it looks a little split. Some people say OGs. Some people say alternate. Ninja Star does not like the OGs. Uh, Franklin says these are a super cop. Kane says cop if you watch the show. D Wade, OG all day gray. Yeah, I I like these better. I like the alternates better than the OGs. However, is this a cop or is it a drop? Hmm. I'm gonna make these. I really like how the jump man and the 23 are different on each of the shoes. I like that. I like the clean purple outsole. The OGs had a darker purple, it looks like. Oh no, that, that looks like the same purple, actually. My bad. Uh, but the teeth are different on each side. I like that. The inner lining is a little bit different. It's a little brighter than this. It has a different pattern as well. So I like that. This is a really 90s sneaker. Now, I do think they slightly look like a kid's sneaker. So for $200... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. I'm going to have to make these a drop. It's a drop for me, guys. For $200, that leather has to be super nice for me to cop. Even then, I probably wouldn't cop. Uh, but the leather, I, I can't tell in these photos, but if, if the leather is even anything less than premium, it's a drop because the fives aren't the most comfortable sneaker to wear anyways. And if you're just slapping bad materials on it, it's not going to feel nice at all. All right. Next up, it's another Jordan. We have the Jordan 9 Dark Charcoal. Here they are. Let me get this on the screen for you guys. Let me know if these are a cop or a drop. Now, if you remember... The OG Jordan 9s had a charcoal colorway. And it was these bad boys right here, which were dope. It had black, gray, red. This was basically a bread colorway. Basically, with some charcoal coloring here. I actually like these. Even though the 9s aren't that great, I like these. Uh, these, however, are basically the same colorway. You got the black, you got the charcoal as well as the charcoal outsole, but you're getting some yellow or it kind of looks like gold mustard yellow on the branding, the inner lining and the Jumpman logo. So Josiah says he had the charcoals as a kid. That's nice. Yeah. So these apparently, according to Soul Collector, are going to drop early 2021. And the, see, Jordan Brand doesn't drop the nines very often. You know what I mean? So the nines don't come around. If you're a fan of the nines, the retros are very hard to come by. So I understand if you want to cop these. But for me, it's a drop. It'll probably be 180 plus bucks. And listen, like I said earlier, I appreciate Jordan Brand making new colorways. But to re if you really want to get my money... Would you guys be upset if Jordan Brand made the OG colorways like a buck 80, like the premium price, buck 80 to 200, but the newer colorways like this were 150, 140 cheaper? I wouldn't be mad about that actually. The OGs should be harder to come by and they should be more expensive. And I want to have more Jordans in my collection, but I'm not going to spend full price on this colorway because Jordan didn't wear it. There's no nostalgic feel to it. And uh, I'd rather save my money on the more expensive Jordans. So if Jordan brand made these cheaper than the OG colorways, like the breads and the Concords and all of those, the white cements, the black cements, you name it, I actually would be okay with that, even though it's technically the same shoe and the only difference is the colors. But you have to understand is... The colors have provenance to them. They have a story. They have value. Black and red Jordans, you you picture Michael in them. You don't picture Michael in these. So these are a drop for me. And I think you guys agree. Everyone's saying drop. Anyone there with the with the cop? John Tom says I would rent them. <laughs> is, is that a business model 
that is coming to us in the future. Renting sneakers. Uh, but yeah, everyone's saying drop. Hot trash drop. Yeah, this is a drop, guys. I'm glad we're aligned on that. Now, this next one, I don't think you guys are going to drop it. Baboom. The Jordan 13 Flints. They are dropping May 30th, I believe. Let me check. May 30th for a buck 90. Are you guys going to cop the Jordan 13 Flints? Listen up. This is actually an OG colorway, which is surprising because usually the OG colorways are black and white, black and red, and that's it, right? We know that from Jordan brand. But back in the day, they dropped this Flint colorway. Um, I believe, was it, was it an original five colorway? I think it was. Let me just fact check this. I think it was an OG colorway. Yeah, it dropped in 98 right here. Navy, Carolina, blue, flint, gray, white. So it's rare that this is an OG colorway. And like I said before, right, when you picture Jordan, you picture black and red sneakers or, or white and black sneakers. With these, you don't picture Jordan in, but you it brings you back. It's nostalgic because this was an original colorway. So I'd imagine a lot of you guys are going to cop. Uh, I think the last time the Flints were retroed were in 2013 or 2012. When was the last time they were retroed? This article will have it. 2005? And I thought there was another one. Yeah, 2010. Oh, way earlier. 2010. But the quality on it was not good, fam. That toe box was not good. It was not. How does the toe box look on this? Is that even the actual retro? It has to be, right? The toe box looks a little bit better. I really want to cop this, but with the pandemic, I can't. I can't. I just don't got the moolah for that. I got to spend my money on other things, like making this stream great. But um, if you're asking me if this is a cop or a drop, it's got to be a cop. It's got to be a cop. It's classic. It's nostalgic. You got to cop it. Most of you guys are saying cop. I think everyone is saying cop. Uh, Will the B says, reminds me of Flint, Michigan. Uh, so definitely a drop. What? Hey, come on, man. You can't be talking about Flint like that. That's where Kuzma's from, man. Uh, Josiah says they kind of look like a wizard shoe. Good. Good eye there, Josiah. You're right. And this was before he played with the Wizards. I wonder if he ever wore these when he played with the Wizards. Let's see if we can look that up. Flint 13s. Shout out to James for subscribing. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any photos of him. Like he wore the true blues. He wore the the nines. I remember he wore the nines, the cool gray nines. Uh, here he's wearing the 16s. Yeah, I don't think he wore the Flint 13s. It would have been perfect though. It would have been perfect. Uh, but yeah, again, guys, these are dropping May 30th for $190. Good luck to you if you're trying to cop. Let's see what the market's like on StockX for an early pair. Oh, the OGs are going for 340 bucks. That's not that bad. 243 bucks. So it looks like there's a little bit of a market there for the flints. But again, this is early. It'll probably come down once the shoe drops. Uh, but let's move on. That's pretty much all we have for the copper drop Jordan segment. I want to move on to this next sneaker. Which this caught my eye. My boy, Gio, hit me up. And he asked me if I saw these. The SB Dunk Low Ben & Jerry's Chunky Dunky. Now, what is Chunky Dunky? I know it's a flavor ice cream. But what is it? Chunky Dunky. Is it going to tell me what flavor it is? <laughs> it's not telling me what flavor it is. 
What? Let me look up the... Oh, here. Oh, no. This is Chunky Monkey. Where's the Chunky... Oh, is it? Is it Chunky Monkey? So stupid. So dumb. Yeah, that's right. Because Dunky, because it's the SB Dunk. So dumb. It's Chunky Monkey. What is it? What's the flavors? It's banana ice cream with fudge chunks and walnuts. Okay, that sounds good. That actually sounds good. But these chunky donkeys, they're dropping uh, two days from now. So Tuesday, the 26th. Um, and this is what they look like. Let me know if you guys think this is a cop or a drop. Let me zoom in. Now, they got the pony hair. They got the cow hide design. And it basically looks like, uh, you know, the jar. The jar of ice cream. Green outsole. I like that paint drip coming off of the swoosh. I really like that. I like the toe box. Nice blue. And again, pony hair on the tongue. Love the Ben and Jerry's font on the back. Now, the reason why I ask you guys if this is a cop or a drop is because apparently this is a really hyped release for some reason. Now, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look in the comments. Let's see. We got cops. We got a lot of cops. Mr. Lolly says drop. John Tom says too much going on. Andres says drop. Yeah, so I think the majority is cop. But we are getting some drops. I'm... Listen. I got to drop these guys. I got to. Too much. I would not rock these. You would not catch me rocking these. What would I even wear these with? I don't know. This is a, a statement shoe. Too much colors going on for me. Never been a fan of pony hair on any shoe. Not, And these are no different. Um, not a fan of the tie-dye inner lining. As you can see here. I'm just not a fan. Uh, I appreciate it because if you go on StockX, look at this. Look at the resale. $1,526 someone bought these for. What? And look at the friends and family packaging. 5000 $4,908, and it comes in this ice cream jar. That's cool. I like it. I like the theme. I like the creativity. I do. I just want to rock them, especially, especially not for this price. Uh-uh. Looks like someone just sold a pair for $1,500. i am not buying it for that much. No way, Jose. I have no idea why. Is it that limited? Even if, who cares if they're limited? I have a pair of Lupe Fiasco Vans that are really limited. Those aren't going for $1,500. I don't get it. I really don't get it. This is one thing where the hype loses me. I don't get it. And some people may look at this shoe and not even like it, but once they find out it's hyped up that much, they're like, oh, you know what? I actually like them. I, I, I'm i going to try to cop. I'm going to try to cop a couple pairs. I'll resell a couple, but I'll keep one for the collection just to say that they have that in their collection because it's some rare sneaker that's really expensive. It's a status piece because it's not it's not the cleanest sneaker. I don't like the way it looks. I don't. I'm sorry. It's, it's yeah, Adam, a SB culture, I've never really fully understood it. Like even like the Tiffany Dunks, like everyone was on these. And I mean like, it's an okay sneaker, but it's it's not like eighteen hundred dollars. Look, lowest ask is four hundred, four thousand. Excuse me, that's crazy. Someone's willing to drop two racks basically on these. I don't get it. Like, it's a clean shoe. It's way cleaner than the monkeys, or the donkeys, or whatever they're called. But the hype on SBs and even that one, uh, what is that one? Uh, SB. The right here, the NYC pigeons. Thirteen thousand, and I don't get it. 
it's I don't I wouldn't even rock this. It's like a weird shade of orange or like red and with the pigeon and grays. I mean, I don't get it. What was I know this sneaker had like hype on it. The the release was crazy and I just don't know. I I don't get it. I don't get listen. In the list of craziest sneaker releases, Jess Staple designed the SB Dunk Low Pigeon is near the top. When the Pigeon Dunks released back in 05, word spread and lines formed outside of Reed Space. Jeff Staples Lower East Side Shop. By the time release day rolled out, the crowd had grown to such a size that, yeah, I know all this. The, the police was crazy. It was crazy. Only 150 pairs produced. So it's a limited thing. It's this shoe is so limited, it warrants this price, even though the shoe itself is like, it's like whatever. I don't get it. I think you guys are, are with me on this. Yeah, Jack, I like the Tiffany's too, but for that price, no thank you. Eric says they were already hard to find before they blew up this year. Are you talking about the dunks? Yeah, I don't, I don't get SB culture. I don't get it. That fan base is crazy. Like, why are these going for over $400 is beyond me. I could see them because 400 is, is about the right price for limited sneakers that sell out. Um, 400 to 800 is, is about the range. Uh, like if we just go to StockX or let's go to GOAT. Let's switch it up. If you go to GOAT and like... The off-whites. That's the most popular sneaker, right? 1500 But these are the Jordans. These are, like, super limited. But, like, the the Dunks are going for 450 The Prestos are about 600 The Air Force Ones are 800 So, but the Jordan 5s are 500 So, between 400 and 800 I'd say, is, like, that's when you're starting to get into limited sneakers that a lot of people want and... Um, Nike makes a lot of, but just so many people want them, they sell out, and that's why they hit the third party aftermarket. Um, but then you get the rare ones like the Jordans that are going for $3,800 because they're Jordans, and I think these were more limited than the other off white sneakers. So, um, yeah, the SB Dunk Chunky Dunkies, it's a drop. Maybe you could try to cop and resell it to someone who really wants it. But at that point, just do it for the culture and just, like, don't try to cop it so someone who really wants a pair can cop it for themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, the reselling, I get it. It's a free country. You do you, make your money. But, like, just think about all those times you couldn't get a pair of sneakers that you really wanted. It's probably because someone is buying a bunch of pairs and reselling them and they don't even want them so they're exploiting the system nike has done a decent job at trying to avoid it but you can't beat hype hype wins every single time all right let's move on to the next topic i'm really excited about this one this will be our last topic i believe the kobe 5 pro tro bruce lee alternate the bruce lee alternate now apparently the og bruce lee's are coming out too now i'm not too sure because with leaks you're dealing with um you know release dates and style codes or color codes or whatever they call them so this article is may 15th this article was april 30th so i don't know this guy might be thinking that these are coming out, but he has this photo. Or this guy might think that these are coming out when he really means these. Either way, if we get two Bruce Lee colorways of the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, I'm a happy camper. And here's the thing, Nike. If you drop two of them, they're going to sell out. Anything Kobe's going to sell out. So we, we have room. Or two now if we were up to me i actually would only drop this alternate colorway that we're seeing this right here because these ogs they should live in the past they should be legendary like that and the people who cop these back in the day should own it as a legendary sneaker and you can't get that anymore i like that idea 
but I get it. Nike's a business. They want to make money. They're probably going to drop these as well, which if they do, you already know it's a cop. I don't even need to look at the chat. I know it's a cop. It's an instant cop. I need to get another graphic that there's cop and there's instant cop. That's another level. There's, you know, there's Reggie Miller good, right? Then there's Michael Jordan good. Kobe Bryant good. LeBron James good. Magic Johnson good. But then, you know, there's Chauncey Billups good. There's Tony Parker good. There's Ray Allen good. There's Paul Pierce good. But then there's Larry Bird good. Wilt Chamberlain good. Oscar Robinson good. That is this level. That's what the Kobe 5 Bruce Lees are at. They're at that next level. So this is a cop. I'll do it one more time for the people. It's a cop. I mean, these are so sweet. Black and yellow. I love that color combination with these red. Oh, come on. How could you not cop? But the alternates. Now, this is a different story maybe for some people. What do you guys think? This is the only photo we have of it, I believe. Let me, let me look on the internet. Bruce Lee alternate. Okay, there's some more photos. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's a... Guys, I... What am I... Come on, it's a cop. This is a cop, guys. I don't care if there's full-length zoom, four-foot zoom. They take zoom out completely. I'm copying this. But here's the sad thing. I know it's going to be hard to get. I know this, but I got to try. I got to try to cop these. These look mean. Even... Now, I was going to say in these photos, I do not like that patent leather. I've never been a fan of patent leather. It's not patent leather. It's patent synthetic fuse or whatever the material is. It's fuse, uh, hyperfuse, and it's shiny. I don't like that. I don't like the shininess. But in this photo, it looks pretty dope. Um, this yellow is throwing me off a little bit. Maybe they could have added yellow on the Kobe logo on the tongue here. That would have been cool, too. It just feels like if that's the only spot that there's yellow in, it's just a little weird. Maybe a yellow toe box. That would have looked cool. But these just look vicious. I, I, this, this is a cop. And everyone is saying cop. Gene says big fat cop. <laughs> Man. Oh, Eric V. Eric V says the alternate with bright laces. Bruh. Yes, Eric. I like the way you think. Big brain. Big brain boys. Yeah, throw some yellow laces, some red laces on there. Eric V. Eric V. Hey, shout out to Eric V in the chat. Can we get a what what for Eric V in the chat? The Kobe 5 Bruce Lee alternate. It's a cop. One more time for the boys. You got to cop it. It definitely is. Now, when are these coming out? Oh, there's some more photos here too. Oh, the, okay, so the Kobe logo on the back is yellow as well. The signature. These are dropping. I don't think there's a tentative release date. There's just a style code. 180 bucks. Uh, yeah, there's no release date. Now, we know Nike took Kobe stuff off their site for a while. So, um, I don't know when they're coming back. I wonder if they, if, I wonder if they put it back. I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, they got the Mamba Fury. Oh, wait, I'm on. Why am I on like Nike? What is this currency? DK? Where is that? Where am I? Denmark. Why am I in Denmark? Let's change it back to the United States. That was weird. Yeah, see, in memory of Kobe Bryant, they took off the stuff. So I don't know when it's coming back. But when it comes back, boy, you already know it's on. It's on. This is a cop. This is a cop. I'm a straight buy. Yep, I'm a straight buy too, Jack. Definitely. Uh, but that's pretty much all we have for the show. Again, guys, if you enjoyed the sneaker show... Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everyone for subscribing. Shout out to our moderator, Josiah. Thank you so much, my man. Um, if you guys like the show, you got to let me know. 
you gotta let me know comment thumbs up subscribe again we're gonna do this every sunday 7 p.m pacific we might bump it up to two shows a week who knows but i think we had a lot of fun guys again this is the first episode so it's only going to get better from this point on um but i want to end the show by saying if i could pick any sneaker out of all the sneakers we just looked at if i could just have one sneaker uh what is the sneaker of the show it's got to be one of the Kobe's, right, guys? It's got to be. So I'm going to say, do I go alternate? Look, I love the alternates. But this, this, this is the shoe of the show, guys. If I could have any shoe from the entire show, it's got to be the Kobe 5 Bruce Lee's in the original colorway. Let me know which shoe you guys would have in the chat, and then we'll get out of here. But this is... This is the shoe of the show. This is the MVP. This is the player of the game. The Kobe 5 Bruce Lee's. If I could have any shoe, this is it. I mean, they go so hard. And when you put these on, boy, boy, you already feel like Mamba mentality. I can't wait for these to drop. Let's see what you guys are saying. Andreas says, Flint colorway. Yep, those are good too. That would be a good cop. Gene says, OG Bruce Lee's. I'm right there with you. Logan's got the Kobe 5 Pro Tros. Lolly's got the Bruce Lee's for sure. They a big cop. Desai's got the yellow Bruce Lee's. Uh, yeah, most people are going Bruce Lee's. David says the alternates. But the Bruce Lee's are good too. Yeah, man, you can't go wrong with either these or the... Where's that other photo? Right here. Oh, wee. I can't wait for these to drop. You could customize this too. That would be... Oh, my God. That would be crazy. You can't mess with the classics. That's right, Josiah. So... Thanks for joining me on the first ever sneakers show. I'll catch you guys next Sunday. Comment what you want me to talk about in the next episode. But again, guys, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, make sure you join the sneaker show. It's been a pleasure having you. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe, doing social distancing, wearing masks. Um, I just want you guys to be safe. I want everyone to be safe, so stay safe out there. My name is Jaren. It's been great having you. I'll catch you guys in next week's episode. Peace.